What's up everybody? G Fire Productions in the place to be. Superman first class in the mix. Today we're going to answer Jim's question of how to set up mute groups. Basically, Jim wanted to know how do I assign my effects to mute groups? Let's get into it. And before we do, make sure you guys smash in that like button, subscribe to our channel, and of course, rock that bell if you want to keep up with what we're doing here on G5 Productions. So what you guys are looking at here is my second monitor with an app called XR Edit. Now XR Edit controls Behringer's XR series mixers. They have different sizes like the 12, 16, 18, and then there's a flat one, I think it's, uh, I forget what it's called, but anyways, oh, it's the X18, right? These wireless digital mixers don't have hard faders and buttons and stuff you can manually turn with your hand. You have to use a laptop or a tablet of some sort to control it by connecting to it wirelessly and using an app to uh, control your mix. So in other words, um, we're going to talk about that with this particular program called the XR Edit. Now, for, as far as mute groups go, I want you guys to pay attention to the lower right part of my screen where I'm mousing around right here. And since the question was, how do you assign your effects to the mute groups is the same way you assign any channel to the mute groups, right? Because every single channel has four square squares right on the bottom of it. So let's go with this delay right here. And if you look just above the mute button, you see four little squares and one of the four squares is highlighted red. That means it is assigned to mute group four just like all the rest of these channels here, right? So out of this entire mixer across all of these channels, I have several different mute groups. So here, here's what they look like. The first one is all of my band stuff, right? The next one is all of my microphones. And the next group is pretty much my iPad or my DDJ. So music that I would generally turn off and on uh, when bands start to perform. And then I have uh, front of house music. That would be channels 17 and 18 on the XR18 mixer. And basically, I manually pull that down so it's not assigned to any mute group, right? And then, of course, my final mute group is for all of my effects, right? Because sometimes with singers, they'll be singing, and it's cool to have reverb and delay and all that stuff going. But when they stop singing and, they want, and want to talk to the audience, then it becomes like, hey, you know, no, no, I wanted to tell you guys, guys, that I love you, love you, you know, and that would just sound weird. So what you would do at that point is you would want either try to go to all these faders on the computer and, you know, pull everything down. And especially if you had like all four of these were delays and reverbs and stuff, it would just be a bit cumbersome versus hitting one button like boom, mute all of it and let them talk, say what they got to say. And when they go right back into their singing, boom, you unmute everything and it just goes right back to you know the way it was. So that's how that works um, in this instance. So to assign everything, you just highlight the square right here on top of the channel. So right now, um, I'm going to take all my effects out of the mute group. Right, so they all got their own little four squares right there on the bottom, but none of them are highlighted. So mute group four has absolutely nothing in it, right? See how that works? So let's go ahead and put it back. So there's the delay. Here's the uh, reverb. And then here's the graphic EQ. I'm not even sure why I put that in the mute group, but it works for me, so I'm rolling with it. But anyways, there it is right there. And that's one way that you can assign your effects to a mute group. Now, the other way is if you skip to any channel, so we're going to stay on the delay right there. Actually, we'll do the reverb this time. And you go to the channel button up top. So here's the main mixer, uh, what most of us are usually on. You know, we have all this access to other stuff like gates and um, compressors, EQ, and stuff like that. But if you click the channel button in the upper left area of this, then you have the same thing, but for that channel. So here's the um, channel input for the reverb, which is the trim. You can EQ it. And uh, here's, you can send that reverb to certain buses if you wanted to. And also, um, you don't want to send it back into an effect you would cause 
a uh, like a effects loop or something. It'll be weird, right? But anyways, here's how you assign it to both DCAs. So it's on a DCA4 and it's on new group four, right? So as I'm uh, turning this off and on, you can see that my verb on the bottom channel here, the, um, as I'm pressing four right there, you can see the square is going on and off, right? So let's turn that off so you can see it a little better. And there it is, see that? So that's two ways that you can assign mu groups. You can do it through the channel and of course you have to select that channel right accordingly so reverb or delay or whatever else you may be using but you have to assign it to you can actually assign these to all of the mute groups and again I don't know why you would want to do that but for me I just kind of got a little system going for uniformity sake right so there it is unmute down there mute everything just like that so don't confuse what's down on the lower right with actually assigning the mute groups in the channel you would be confused so all you're doing up here is assigning it and what you're actually doing down here is muting right so now let's go ahead and switch over to the iPad version so I can show you how it's done there also okay so here we are on the iPad and I'm gonna start it from scratch here just so you guys can see what I see um, I have on the bottom bar of the iPad some uh, my most commonly used um, apps and the second one is the XR edit app for the XR18. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Now, if I were actually connected to the XR18 through either the built-in Wi-Fi or the router version of Wi-Fi that I set up, then I would connect to it with the middle button here because my mixer would be um, right here where I have the uh, you know the the name just popped up right there, right? But since I'm not connected, it's not highlighted. You can't even select that to connect it because it's just not there. But we're going to use these demo mixers down here on the bottom. And the second one here is the actual XR18. Now, when you're connected, this is what you see popping up. And again, this is demo. That's why you have all these lines and stuff. But here's how you assign a mute um, group, right? All of the gray channels here, and let's see if we could just highlight one real quick so it stands out. So the highlighted channels here, all of those gray ones, those are channels 1 through 16. The red channel here is channel 17 and 18. So basically for me, that's where I keep my front of house music because it's just two quarter inch uh, connectors that go right in there and then into a phone or iPad. But these green ones are your effects channels, right? So to assign these effects channels, whatever you have as effects, to a mute group, all you have to do is assign it up here. So here's mute group one. And as you can see on the actual channel, at the bottom of it, the red square popped up. So if I press in the top, turn that mute off, then that uh, first effect right here, effects one, is not assigned to any mute group. So let's assign it to a mute group. You can also assign that to a DCA if you want, but let's assign all of our effects just like on the desktop to mute group four. Go over here, mute group four. Third effect, mute group four. And the last effect, mute group four, right? So then we're gonna, in the upper left of the iPad, I'm gonna hit the back button. So don't confuse with, in this section right here, assigning mute groups with actual muting this section only assigns your mute groups all right now to actually activate the mute groups then what happens is in the upper right section of the ipad here you can see that you have your mute groups so if you press one nothing happens if you press four see how all the effects channel squares just lit up right there boom boom so they lit up a little bit more. And what they're telling you in demo mode is if this were actually connected to your mixer, they would in fact mute because you pressed your assigned mute button. So if your mixer was connected, they would look like that pretty much, okay? But because this is demo mode, the mute button is not going to uncheck these like that, just so you're aware. But that's how you do it. So the other way that you can assign a mute button here 
is just pick on any channel and we did that first and there's all the mute assignments right there so mute assignment by actual channel and of course um, that takes care of that and the other way is you can manually on the bottom of any channel you can uh, click on the little red button but as you can see I'm having a difficult time because that is really really small and um, it's hard for me to you know actually select that so I would do it through the channel way like that and just assign it okay so that's it everybody I hope this was helpful I hope you got something out of this I hope this answers your question Jim and uh, if it does either way let me know for anybody looking to follow G5 productions on social media there it is I think you guys recognize the uh, icons right there and if you really want to do us a favor, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and of course, turn on the notifications so you can keep up with all these cool videos we're putting out. I'm Gerald Reddick with G5 Productions, DJ Sign and Lighting, and that's it. You want to hit us up, find us on www.g5productions.com. Let's party.